Hi, I am Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will finish explaining how to manage listing categories in VP Rentals team. In this video I will explain the particularities of each listing category available in the team. I will start with categories type. Here I have the demo category items. We use this category to showcase the type of the real estate that will be available for booking, like apartment, cabin, condos. You will be able to change these elements to fit your business. The categories can be found in submission form. Here, the selected option in submission form will show in the listing page here and also the category will show in the listing card. All category types support a child added for each element. So next I will show how to add child for the main categories. The steps are first to add a name. I will leave the slug empty so WordPress can generate it correctly. I will select the parent and click add new listing category. You will see that the category is added. The child category will be seen in the drop-down, here in submission form and in the search form or any filter area that uses this category. Next I will go to what do you rent. These are the demo elements. We added elements like entire room, private room, but you can change this and add ones that will fit your business. The elements added for this category will be seen in the submission form here in the listing page here and in the listing card here. Next we will have the city category. For the city category you will have three options to generate the category elements. You will have two autocomplete options, one with Google or OpenStreet and one with Team Autocomplete. I will start explaining the available options. I will start with Google or OpenStreet autocomplete option. First, to enable this option, you will need to go to Team Options, Search section and the Use Google Places or Argolde Autocomplete for Search will need to be enabled. This option will apply for search and submission form as well. I will explain how this works by editing an existing listing. Here you will have this city. I will change it to show how the city category will be generated. So the owner will start typing the city. Below a drop down from Google Places or Open Street Places will show and the owner will need to select it from this drop down. I will select I will save the change. Once the owner saved the city value in admin in city category, the new city will show. When this autocomplete option is used, the country field will not show in the submission form as the correct country will be saved automatically based on the city selected from the Google or OpenStreet dropdown. I will go back to team options. And now I will disable the Google Autocomplete option and I will show how to work with the Team Autocomplete option. For this one, I will also need to disable the drop down list and I will use the Autocomplete for non Google location field. I will save the change made. Now in the submission form, you will see that the country field will show as well. And next, I will change London and add a new city. I will add Paris. I will also need to change the country manually. I will save the change. And now I will go to city categories. And you will see that the new city that I typed in submission form will show as a category as well. I will go back to team options and this time I will enable the drop down list. I will save the change. For this option you will also need to go to payments and submit and in listing submit page you will need to enable drop downs from this option as well. And in submission form. For city area and county you will need to select values from drop downs. The values shown in drop downs are the ones added by admin. The city will show in the listing page in the address section and also will show in the listing card. Going back to admin, next you will have the neighborhood or area category. For this category, the options available are similar to the city one. And if 
in Google database there will be an area assigned to the city, then that area will autocomplete as well. The area will show here. If dropdown is enabled, then the owner will need to select an area from the available elements in dropdown. In listing page, the area will show here and in cards will show next to the city. I will go back to admin. Next you will have features and amenities categories. You can use this category to add as many specific details for each listing available. The elements for this category can be grouped. I will show an example in this listing. You will see that here you will have amenities, bed and bath facilities. This can be achieved by adding child categories. You will see that amenities is added as parent and the rest are added as child. And here you will see the main category and the child below. These options will support SVG icons. I will show how to upload them. First, I will edit a child category and here you will need to upload an SVG icon. To be able to upload SVG icons, you will need to install the SVG support plugin. We have a separate video tutorial on how to manage features and amenities and there you will find specific details on how to use this category. I will upload the SVG icon from Team Pack that I have previously saved on my device. I have here the unzipped Team Pack and in demo pin and icons I have the SVG icons folder unzipped as well and from here I will select an SVG icon. I will insert it into post and update. On front end, you will now see the SVG icon that I uploaded. For this category, you will have the option to show or not the features and amenities that are not available. In Team Options, General, Features and Amenities. If this option is set to No, you will see only the features and amenities that are selected. But if set to Yes, you will see all features and amenities and you will see the ones that are not selected for this listing. The features and amenities can be added in the search form or in half map filter section. I will show. You can add them here. The selection can be done from team options search. In advanced search form here you have the option to select if you want to display or not features and amenities and from this list you will select the features that will show in the filter area. The features and amenities will need to be added manually by the admin and once a new feature is added, you will need to select it from team options for the new element to show in submission form. I will show, I will add a new feature, I will leave the slug empty, I will click add new feature, you can see that it was added here. Next, to show it in submission form, I will need to go to Team Options, Payments and Submit, Listing and Submit, and from this list, I will need to select the new feature that I added. I will save the change, and after, in submission form, in Amenities section, the owner will be able to select all the features and amenities that are suitable for his listing. Going back to the category list, the last category is Property Status. Here you can add status like verified, new offer or anything that you want to add for your listings. So I will add verified label. The property status can be assigned only by admin. So I will edit the listing from the back end. The status can be found here. I will check it. I will save the change. In the listing page, the status will show here, in the listing details, and the label will also be shown on the property card. These are all the specific details on listing category. Finally, I will show a last option in Team Options for property categories. In Search, Advanced Search Settings, 
with the help of this option show cities and areas with zero listing in drop downs you will be able to display in drop downs the categories that do not have any listings assigned i will show an example in the filter area on health map or in any drop down for the categories here you will see if the option in team options is enabled in the drop down you will see all categories regardless if they have or not listing assigned the same will be for category but if you go to team options and disable this option in the drop down you will see only the categories that have listings assigned this wraps our video thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel to get instant notifications on new videos